Oh, that was a good move, Mr. Corgan. You get that guy next? Yeah, I got him. And I had to run away because they started to see. You know, we should play with these with the kids. Yeah, those fashion cards are cool. Hmm. Glad you think so. I'm going to start the live stream in like three minutes, so enjoy this while you can. Oh, so that was the pretend bomb. And then I had to, um, after I defuse that bomb, then you have to get those those bad guys. But they're not really bad guys. They're like robots. So these robots, hey, how about that? I could tell the kids that these robots help Miles become a better Spider-Man, right? Just like our robots help us become better mathematicians out of that. All right. All right, you only get like two more minutes. Come on, let me watch more. No, you don't get to watch more. Video games are for the weekend. We're doing school today. Whoop. So I did that, right? Yeah, I did. I think I tried it again, though. Release the super secret bonus ultimate challenge. Head to ESU if you dare. So one of my favorite things is how Spider-Man over here, Spider-Man makes a recording. <laughs> he makes a recording, and then Miles has to do the mission. No. Go wash my hands over here, bro. All right, it's time for the live stream now. You got to move. But I want to watch. You, it's not about what you want. You got to move. Oh, man. All right. Uh oh. Lucky you. We've been live streaming this whole time. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. This one is great. Oh, that was just fabulous. This one. Oh, man. So that, <clears throat> welcome everybody. So, uh, oops, I just called, I guess. So that, this little side mission we had, we, being darn dog. Um, so he mission, well, I, 
And uh, the cool thing was that, uh, ah, blah, blah, blah. I almost geeked out on Spider-Man. Now's not the time. So welcome to uh, Math Livestream. I'm going to call Seth back. Poor guy. Sorry, buddy. Uh, today, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> today, speak up. Mm. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Wonderful, wonderful. I just uh, I just got back. I went to go wash my hands. I'm trying to get in better hand washing habits because uh, you know who knows we might have multiple people in this room. So. Uh, yeah, I found out that our uh, hybrid is going to be very similar to yours. Oh, is that right? Yeah, now the school board won't take my calls anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking about that part, but yeah, it's going to be okay. uh, kind of an 8.30 to 11, two days a week. Right. Um, we're going to have uh, full day distant learning on Wednesday. Oh, full Oh, full distant. That's not unlike us. Yeah. Or the proposal for us. I, so the kids, hello, the nine of you out there, hello. Uh, the kids out there are, um, so they're, some of them are aware that there's maybe a change coming. Um, okay. so yeah, we're, we're just trying to do our best now. I, um, I told the kids today, we're going to talk about robots, um, donuts, toy cars. You didn't, you didn't say that. We didn't talk about the fact that we're going to talk about donuts today. Yeah, we're just going to talk about it. We're not going to eat any. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You can ask them. I didn't bring any of you to school today. Uh, toy yeah. toy cars. So we got robots. We got toy cars. Why did I say donuts? <laughs> donuts, toy cars, robots. What was it? I thought there was something else we were talking about today. Oh, you uh, said you want something at the end of uh, at the end of our yeah, life. Yeah, I need a couple minutes at the end. Yeah. Donuts. And that has nothing to do with donuts or toy cars. It doesn't have to do with robots driving toy cars to go no. get donuts? No, none of no. Okay. it. Might, it might have to do with math. Who knows? All right, well, so we go until 11.20, right? Oops. We go until 11.20? So how about right. from uh, 11.15 on, you get that time? Yeah, cool. perfect. All right, so so I showed you some of the, the robot stuff I did with my kids, right? Or did All I right. just describe it? You showed me a picture of the one that you drew. Right. Okay. So these these robots, you know, my students did the full-size robot, and the full-size robot has a total height of like, oh, no, I forgot what it was, but the full robot, right, the 100% full-size robot is whatever this is, and then we did a half size and a third size and a fourth size. So we could have done, yeah, we're even doing a fourth size. And you know what I even thought about doing, Seth, was what if I did, what if I did a 12-size robot? Um, so let's do that now just for fun. So everybody out there, if you want to do a 12-size robot, you can, but it's going to be pretty weird. All right, you ready to help me out with this, Seth? Sure. All right, so let's just do this for fun. Um, I don't have the colors, everybody, so the colors won't be matching. Um, the colors won't be matching what you have in your head. So, Seb, if I have a robot, and we'll start with the hat. If the hat is 12 square units. Oh, oh, still there? Here I am. Oh, I feel like I lost you for a second. <laughs> the hat is what now? The, ha the hat is 12 square units. If the hat is 12 square units, what is one twelfth of that going to be? That's going to be one. <laughs> Just a one square unit, any bitty hat. All right. All right, now the head, right, the, the robot head, this is 12 square units, and then 1 12th of it is 1 square unit. How about them apples? All right, next. If the head of the robot is 48, what is 1, um, what's 1 12th of that going to be? That would be 4. So that the robot head goes from 48 to 4. 
four square units. Cool. Thanks for your help, by the way. Next, the torso is 72 square units. So what's the what's 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 the torso gonna be? 70 72. So the torso the torso is six. Right? And actually, class, this is so easy. You sh you should do you should do this. If you because look how little you don't need much grid paper for this. You need one square unit for the head, four square units for the oh, sorry, the hat, the head. All right, uh, moving on to the arms. So, Sev, the left arm is 24 square units. Okay, so that's two. <laughs> two square units? This is so tiny. So one this way and two this way. Here we go. So this is your one twelfth size robot. I like it. Yeah, you know, mine's actually coming out looking pretty good. Is it? Yeah. It's little, <laughs> but it looks pretty good. Oh, okay. I like it. <laughs> Um, all right, so where was I? 72. Um, you know what? I think to the, today I'm going to I'm gonna tell them what these units really are. Um, all right, anyway, let, let's get the rest of the arm. So each arm is two square units. I think you said the head was four, right? Head's four, hat's one. Hat's one. One point four, six, and two, so four. One four. Oh, so that torso is six, you said? Six, yeah. And da -da -da. this is a lot of fun drawing drawing the robot. By the way, it uh, yeah. Hopefully, you all can see it out there. Okay. What's the uh? Okay, what, what else we got? Legs? Oh, so we have two torsos. We have the upper torso where our lungs are, but we also have the lower torso with our hips. So what? Okay. Oh, I forgot about the lower torso. Let's do that. So the lower torso here, that lower torso is supposed to be thirty six. Okay. Wow, that's three. Three, okay. Three okay. Not too bad. There we go. Three. And then the legs, because the legs come out of the lower torso. Because I want it, so my, my robot is a, um, my robot's job is to stomp on um, recycling. So like um, glass, or not glass, but cans, aluminum cans and metal cans. Okay. So my robot's a stomper. So he's going to need strong hips and legs. And the legs are, uh, the legs are 24 square units. So same each. as the, yeah, each. Wow. Okay. So, no, well, like, well, I guess that's still that's only two. Right, because it's just like the oh, just okay. like the arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Here we go. Well, yeah, that's because it's funny because when we looked at what was the arms, the arms were uh, twenty four, right? Yeah. Yeah. These are. This is twenty four. This is twenty four, and then a twelfth of that. 24, 24. Yeah, my, I mean, yeah, mine actually came out pretty good. And you know why I think that is? Why is that? I think because there, with there being less units, yeah, there was less um, uh, opportunity for me to play around with it. <laughs> you mean less? Uh, like you can't be as creative. <laughs> yeah, less variation on it because I, I don't have the elongated face. <laughs> that kind of, doing the, that right, kind of thing. right. Yeah, because it was just saying you only got two, so right. I only got four. So was, I mean, I can't have four across and just one. I mean, <laughs> Not really. Been, yeah, the torso. The torso could be a long, wide torso. That would be. Strange. Yeah, yeah. This one actually looks more proportionate to an actual yeah robot as opposed <laughs> to the other stuff I did. Yeah. Uh, so I guess the last thing are just the feet. So the feet are uh, like the head or the hat, rather twelve and hand the blah blah blah. So the hands are twelve, and the um, the feet are twelve. So one twelfth to twelve is it's just one. Yeah, that's just one. So we have one, a hand and a hand, yeah. and then a yeah, foot, yeah. a foot and a foot. All right, there we go. So this is now our. Um, okay, let me, can I zoom in? All right, class, this is your, oh, <laughs> that's not right. Undo. That was funny. All right, arrow. Hello. Ooh, there we go. Uh, draw. Ooh, wee. Oh. Oh, did it freeze? Sorry, I'm having trouble with my, 
I gotta be, what my dad say? You have to be smarter than the smart board. <laughs> That's one of his. Hello. Plus. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, anyway, that's it. Now stop trying to zoom I in. numbered all my uh, units this time. You numbered them all? Yeah, there's 26 on this thing. Oh, so the whole robot. Yeah. The whole robot is, I uh, guess I'll do, I'll do a little cloud around it. So this is 26 square units total. Right. Will you tell me how tall the robot is? How tall is that robot? Nine. Nine square units? All right, so here's the deal. Nine square units. Uh oh, nine square units. So, Seb, you know the nine square units? This robot is nine, your one twelfth robot is nine feet tall. Oh, okay, so you got five feet? Yup. So, oh, these, okay. these units, everybody, your one twelfth robot is nine feet tall. I feel pretty big. Yes. So what does that make you wonder? Well, it makes me wonder how tall the full size is. <laughs> or, or, or how tall, yeah. I know, I know how many units it is. How many units is the, the big, big robot? 312. So the big unit is 312 square units? Right. Um, so this, though. But right. I doesn't necessarily mean it's 12 times that's right, square units. Yeah. Um, People did different things. Oh, that's a good point. So you say, you're saying that since the small robot, I'm going to take a picture of this. Since the small robot is nine feet tall, um, then that means maybe, not for sure, but maybe the regular robot, the full size robot, is 12 times nine. Right. It could be, right? Do you have it your. Could be. Do you have your full size robot already? I don't know. Uh, yeah, me neither. No. Me neither. I, I only got as far uh, as the hat in the head. All right. I, yeah, I, 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 I had. Didn't know, I didn't know the other me measure. Well, no, I saw yours, so I did know it. But I wrote it. Yeah, I wrote it down somewhere. I wrote down somewhere how tall my robot was. Oh, let me look at my students. I think I have my chat open here. All right, everybody. So, so the only way oh. you've beaten 12 times that is if you made the, um, the then both the same proportion. Yes. Yeah. So if you did that, and a lot of my students did, I saw them doing drawings, and you know this my um, these are my half and third size robots. So everybody, if you have the okay. same robot, you have a hundred, a hundred is that a hundred eight? A hundred eight feet, right? Eight. So yeah, but I'm going to erase this now. So you have, so your robot, your full size robot, is a uh, 108 feet tall. Feet tall. And you're going to 3D print these things? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put a 108 foot robot. I mean, I got a pretty big guard. No, that's why we're gonna scale these down. I'm not. Okay. I'm not even gonna give the kids a, a one foot robot. Uh, that, you know. That looks pretty close to a small airport too. So I don't know that 108 foot robot would be a good idea. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, good thing we have a hat on it, so the airplanes can see the hat. Uh, and then, we can make the little thing on the top, the little button on the top, a red blinking. Oh, I get paid. Hey, Seth. If you can print it, if you can print it and you can get it here, I'll put it up. <laughs> You're going to have to, okay, when we 3D print things, when we 3D print things, Seth, I need a little spool, right? Yeah. If the 3D stuff, that filament comes in a spool. I know, we're going to need like a million dollars. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm going to have to write a, a grant for yeah. all, I need all of the spool all of the filaments uh, west of the Mississippi in order to, to print these robots. But here, yeah, I got, oh, wake up. I think I just, I overwhelmed my projector here. Oh, that's not good. Um, where are we? Oh, so the main thing is, 
I think that's pretty good with the rollout. So everybody you now know, everybody now knows how how big your small your one twelfth robot, and you have to do a one twelfth robot. I just decided you have yeah. to do a one because it's easy. I mean, Sev, you're done, right? Yeah. Yeah. And if Sev can draw a one twelfth robot and help me teach, then you can do a one twelfth robot. I, I mean, I numbered it. I figured out the height. I make jokes about giant robots. And airplanes. <laughs> airplanes and See, airplanes. he did his work and he found time to do jokes. Right. Right. That's win-win. Um, all right, as this warms up, so the next thing I wanted to do a brief thing on, well, you want to do your car thing next or donuts? It's up to you. Mm, donuts. Okay, donuts. <laughs> all right, so uh, Seb, do you ever um, do you ever order donuts? Like go to the yeah. store, Mario? As a matter of fact, we just did it fairly recently. Oh yeah. So when you go when you go buy donuts, um, well, how much do you buy? A dozen. You buy a dozen donuts. Okay. Yeah. And for I those, we did last time. Yeah. whoa, the, the camera just got really blurry. Um, the sugar rush from all the donuts. It is okay. The, the my projector is not working at all. This is weird. Oh, here we go. All right, so you ready? Wake up. All right, here we go. All right, time for donuts. So when you get donuts, uh, you said you buy a dozen? Right. All right, how much in a dozen? Twelve. All right, of the 12 donuts, how many do you eat? At one time or total? <laughs> Surprise me. All right, so the way we did it last time, um, just to make it, to make it simple, yeah. is it was me and my two boys. Okay. So we each we each got we each got four. All right, so it's you and the two boys. Yeah. All right. So and, you, and we did eat them over over two days. It was dessert one night and breakfast the next morning. Oh, okay. So when you go to order the donuts, do you um, do you go by yourself or do they come too? Okay. So this last time. Oh, that's cool. So they went in. You would think so. So they go in, and they're going to come out with a big, what is it? Is it a pink box? A pink box, yeah. Yeah, that's something about the big pink box of donuts. So you go get 12 donuts, uh, and they get they come out with a pink box, and what was in it? What kind of donuts? Uh, what kind? Oh, oh, specifically what kind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need uh, variety, man. Yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta think. We had... Uh, Okay. Two old fashioned. Old fashioned, old fashioned. Uh huh. It was two, so four glazed, two old fashioned, two chocolate with sprinkles. Ooh. That's two, four, that's eight. It was two that had like a pink frosting on it, kind of like the Simpson donut. <laughs> it was a couple of those. I'm sorry, it's a what? It's a pink one? Yeah, it was a donut that had like pink frosting on it. Okay, so a donut with pink frosting. So I'm up to. Uh, There's ten, right? No, I only have nine. I have the four. This is glaze. Yeah, four, four glaze. Okay. Four, two, old fashioned. Oh, old fashioned. Yeah. O F. Okay. Two. Chocolate. Chocolate with sprinkles. Chocolate. Whoa, whoa! I switched to erase. Sorry, I want. And then two. Pink. Oh, two pink. That was my problem. Yeah. I only had one of those. Yeah. Chocolate with sprinkles I and believe, let's see. So that's a, I believe somebody got I mean, it was kind of thing, I try to be remember exactly what it was, but I think one was um just a regular like full chocolate donut. Wow, full chocolate, got it. Yeah, one was a regular donut with like chocolate frosting. Okay. And it was one full chocolate. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure about the other one. Okay, so I'm doing one that's, uh, so it's a regular donut with chocolate frosting on it? Yeah, there's two of those. And one just full chocolate, like it's just a chocolate donut. So did you have 12 or 13? 12. Yeah, so they didn't give you the baker's dozen thing, huh? No, they did give us some uh, uh, donut holes, though. Oh, okay. So instead of, in the old days, kids, 
when you went to the, the donut shop, uh, they would give you 13 because the baker was friendly, so you get a bonus one. So essentially it was 13 out of 12, which is one and one twelfth. But we'll get to mixed fractions soon. Um, so you got the donut um, holes. All right, so who – how'd you break this up? Oh, let's do um, – let's do the – let's break down the, the plane. So – Fraction of the twelve were plain, or I guess what were they glazed? What fraction were glazed? Glazed, yeah, glazed. Uh, four twelfths. Yeah, but we, you know, how in math we don't say um, if we could say things more simply, we can. So instead of four twelfths, okay, one third. One third. All right. So one third of the entire box, one third of the entire box was glazed. Cool. And then when you ate it, who ate the glazed? Like who? How'd you break up? Because there's. I had two. Okay. And I'm pretty sure Dylan had two. So you had two. Okay, I'll put. Whoop. Yeah. Got to make Dylan over here. So out of the. So here's the other thing that's funny though. A third of the box was glazed. Mm -hmm. But you ate one sixth of the. Or no, you ate one sixth of the donuts, and you ate. So wait, you had two out of the four. So you, you ate half. Of the glaze, right? Yes. Yep. One. I ate all of the old fashioned. Glaze. So you had half of the glaze. Hey, the last time I saw you, did we get donuts? I don't think so. Can we get donuts the next time I see you? Because now I'm craving donuts. <laughs> yeah. I know the spine. Now we got it straightened out. Okay. Oh, is there more? We haven't gotten to whatever the incident was where they came out with the donuts. Well, there was. Well, there, okay. The old fashioned comes in like regular old fashioned, glazed old fashioned, chocolate old fashioned. Yeah. And, and I, that concept seemed really hard for everybody to get a bill and get which one you want to break. I don't know. You just got to get, he had to come out twice. <laughs> if you come out again, I'm just going in. <laughs> All right. So the old fashioned. Uh, let's jump into that next. So the old fashioned. Hey, man, they still owe me my chain. Anyway. It's a tip. You got to tip. Just you got to you got to yeah. You got to tip a lot in the in this uh, COVID nineteen crisis. All right. So the old fashioned is two out of twelve. Um, but what do we say? We don't say two out of twelve though. What do we say? No, one six. One six. So who ate the old fashioned? <laughs> There's such delight. I don't know if that comes across to you, but I know Sev. And when he says, I ate them both, like that's him saying it with, I ate them both and I have no regrets. So you're up to, you're up to four donuts now. I'm out. I'm done. So you only had four. Yeah. So you had half of the glaze. Oh, yeah. man, do you think the kids are ready for percentages, Sev? Right. Yeah, based, based off of fraction. I say ready or not, here we go. So out of the glazed, you had half. What percent is half? 50%. All right, so Sev had 50% of the glazed donuts, and you had 100% of the old-fashioned. That's right. Is that because you're old-fashioned like me? Yeah, I guess. I, don't know. I, just, like, I just like to keep, like, like to keep it simple. Yeah, keep I like that. Glazed and old-fashioned, man, that's it. <laughs> no sprinkles for this guy. Yeah, no sprinkles, no filling. No, no. <laughs> well, the donuts are filling enough, am I right? Right. <laughs> All right, how are we doing on time? Oh, it's almost time for you. Okay, we're gonna have to do the. Maybe we'll do the, your uh, the the trucks later because it's almost time for your uh, your sevs day. Yeah, time flies when you're talking about donuts. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So the only thing we haven't talked about yet is I have. So far, I have Dylan. Remind me what Dylan had. Okay, Dylan had two glazed. Okay. Two glazed. Uh, uh huh. One of the pink. So one of the pink. Uh huh. And I think he had whatever that one is that I can't remember what it is. So one of these, uh, like the chocolate ones. Donut. Yeah, the mystery <laughs> chocolate ones. All yeah, right, so so he had those. So he had half. He had half of the pink. So does that mean Braylon had the other half? That's right. Okay, so Braylon. So these two had, they, you know, they each had half of that pink. Um, 
And so far, I only have, so I have you, you had, what was it? So you all had 25% of the donuts? No, this didn't come out right, does it? No, no. Oh, you four. We have each had one third. We each, oh, here we go. This this is this is the part that's tricky. Here we go. I'm just gonna erase it all. Here we go. So so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is the last thing I'll do, and then we can go to Seb here. So Seb had you had four of the donuts, which is a third. Right. Um, and then the boys each had, you know, they combined for two thirds. Two thirds. Right. And then, uh, well, there you go. That's it. And we can break it down, right? We can break all of this down and say, if I wanted to, um, the people, was it the people, the boys under 18 had two thirds, which is what, 66 and a third, per, or two thirds. Yeah. Yeah, two thirds percent. All right. Yeah, you can break it down by, you know, the, yeah, like you were doing with me, that I had half of, uh, well, yeah, half the glaze and. Oh, yeah, then we can break, further break all this stuff down. I mean, the, the big thing is just, you know, we talked about, we've been talking about fractions and, and oh, <laughs> we've been talking about fractions in terms of robots, but um, fractions are also, well, elsewhere. All right. Okay. I'm sitting down. Oh, am I on? You have, yeah, you have the floor. <laughs> okay. All right, hang on, I gotta get rid of my uh, my my robot slash donut worksheet. <laughs> all right. All right. Darn, darn dog and I are all ears. All right. So, Mr. Corcoran knows, but uh, no one else in here, I don't think, knows that about six months ago. I got involved with um, writing some lyrics for a, uh, a hip-hop group that was formed. Oh, you're in a hip-hop group, huh? I, I, I am. California Poppy's Reflected. Oh, Darn Dog is doing the biggest surprise face right now? <laughs> yeah, so um, we've uh, yeah, written some lyrics. We put, in, put some music behind it all through the computer. Uh, and fun cell phone, and very, and then actually none of it actually um, were all members of the group were in one place at one time. Gotcha. And so you're uh, all doing a uh, you're all doing a music project, but you're all split up. Yeah, we're doing just a distant, uh, socially distant music project, which at, at some point hopefully will become you know that all of us can be together um, and do it. Um, anyway, so that's sort of like a little bit of just a backstory on. on uh, on where this is coming from. Okay. So I wrote, I wrote, so I, I wrote a little something that kind of that kind of pertains to the, the class. I'm doing a song on, uh, or we're doing a song on, on math, mathematics. Oh, yes. And basically relating different parts of mathematics to um, uh, social justice issues and, and things, things like that. Cool. Anyway, so yeah, so here's cool. something that I got um, for you guys. All right. If you study, you can be a math, math, mathematician. If you get real good at math and do tricks, you can be a mathematician. You can do pretty things with number and be a mathematician. Oh, oh wait, hold up. I'm getting a little off track. I know I was supposed to talk about a particular subject in math, but I can't remember quite what it is. Oh, wait, there's Alan Iverson. Maybe he knows. AI, do you remember what we were talking about in math class? Man, in math class, we're talking about fractions. Fractions. Not even whole numbers, man, just fractions. We're talking about fractions. That's what we're talking about, fractions. Oh, uh, now I remember. What fraction of a fraction will gain zero traction? Success only comes if they work together, one on top and one at the bottom. A numerator and a denominator, but neither a subservient or a dominator. A line keeps them separate, in this case, separate but equal. It works with numbers, but unlike math, history tells us it's the wrong solution with people. So that's what I got for you guys. You know, if this wasn't my microphone, if it, I'm sorry, if it was mine, I would drop it. <laughs> um, can I give you a compliment? Absolutely. I love compliments. I had no idea you were going to do that. 
but I love it, number one. I'd like to hear it again, number two. And uh, maybe you can get your, um, whoever does your, your music, maybe they could put some music behind it. And maybe we could do the, your DJ can let us put it on the, uh, the, the podcast. Um, Absolutely. As a yeah. math, as a math rap for the for the kids, um, man, that's yeah, cool. Covered a little bit of everything, and uh, I, I, I know, I know Mister Corker knows, but for those of you who didn't understand Alan Iverson part, um, you can simply YouTube Alan Iverson practice, and you'll get <laughs> you'll get the idea. Well, why well, my it's supposed to be funny. My kids need uh, my kids need <laughs> fraction practice, so there you go. It, it works on many levels. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Yeah, well. I, just, I just thought about that part of it, part of it today. But <laughs> the other part, um, the actual ending part, the rap part, was actually already done for the for the uh, mathematics song. Oh, got it. And so then I, I added in the, uh, the, Alan, the Alan Iverson part that I thought of this morning. So. <laughs> Excellent. Well, very inspired, and, and thank you for sharing. Absolutely. I will definitely get a, uh, a cleaner uh, recorded copy over to you. Okay, cool. That'd be good. All right. Thanks, Dev. All right, guys. Love you guys. Be kind. Love you too, buddy. Remember, half measures avail nothing. Half measures avail nothing. <laughs> he'll be here all week, folks. Actually, he'll be here next Monday. <laughs> Take care. Have a wonderful week. You as well, buddy. Bye-bye. All right. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> All right, see you, everybody. Uh, actually, see some of you in like three minutes. All right, check the assignments for uh, what to do with your robot. Blah, blah, blah. All right.